What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we got to talk about what just happened on Twitter. Now, for those who don't know, uh, I checked out a video um, talking about the never ending downfall of Ryback. And as you guys can see, I made myself smaller. This is the video in question. Um, I even put on the thumbnail so much potential in WWE. And um, it got like almost 20k views in two days nothing too crazy right so i ended up talking go well, checking that video out during a reaction to it and i wasn't even really like hyper critical of ryback in a sense like i wasn't doing what most people do on social media when it comes to ryback joke on them or whatever the case um when actually watching the video you know i was going down memory lane and remembering how over he had got and i also uh, put out there that I do feel like WWE does play some part especially management at the time and how things played out with Ryback whether people felt like he was a good wrestler or not he was at one point the most over guy in wrestling especially in WWE and I felt like they missed used him and put him in situations that really didn't benefit him so and then of course obviously the video talks about you know some of his social media antics which I don't a lot of them I don't agree, but I understand in the greater context of things of why he felt the way he did. Okay, so I make that video. I didn't. I don't even think I really clowned him or anything. Um, actually, no, I did. I was just, you know, state my opinion on how things looked in in relation to the video, and I also asked the question: Would you guys want to see Ryback back in WWE again if it was to ever happen? Cool, right? So let's go to Twitter. I get on Twitter today and let me make myself smaller so you guys can see this and he tweets me he says hey ross's clutch feel free to come into the ryback show this saturday at 9 a.m pacific you should never speak about something you're entirely clueless on thanks so i was like oh okay i really wasn't expecting this right okay cool so i responded to him I actually would be down if you are serious. Now, as of me filming this right now, I haven't got any response, but I actually would be down to have a uh, conversation with him. I would. I'm being dead ass. If he has an open mind, then cool. Actually, we're doing this live. I think he just quote tweeted me. If I'm not mistaken, I think he just quote tweeted me. Hold on. We're going to do this live right now. As of me filming this, I believe he just quote tweeted me. Oh, right here. Yeah, see you then. Okay, he actually sent it. So um, I'll go ahead and message him. Oh no, we're doing this. We're doing this live. That's that's crazy. I was not expecting him to even respond back, to be honest. And I replied, "Okay, great. Send me over the details in order for me to join up." And that's 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 pretty much it. So. We will see how this uh this plays out. This is crazy. <laughs> this is this is actually crazy. So yeah, he sent that out, and as y'all seen just live now, uh he wants me to be a part of his show. So I'm open to have an open dialogue because once again, he may know something that I didn't know. I'm just an outsider looking in and checking out a reaction, and then that was it. So there may be something that he, you know, something that he dealt with that obviously I'm not privy to. And he may have a different experience about it. I believe I have made a, a video about Ryback in the past. I think it was that tweet of when he was going off on Vince McMahon's mother and shit. Like at the time, I mean, I get it. Vince, you know, like he doesn't like Vince. He hates the guy, it seems. And I understand that. Cool. But it was just like, damn, bro. It was like come on man it, it came off like clown behavior but once again it's different i don't know how their relationship really was before he left wwe and and how he felt about certain things and how things played out after wwe so i don't know this should be very interesting this should be very interesting this was not in my bingo card of 2024 to actually have some type of sit down with ryback so if he's serious about this like legitimately serious about this then we can see what happens if not i'm not gonna worry about it it is what it is it's not that you know not a pressing issue so comment down below let me know what questions 
would y'all want me to ask Ryback if we do actually have this this um this dialogue what questions would you guys want me to ask him i definitely will y'all let me know comment them down below and i'm talking about real questions not asshole questions like you know the bs questions that i know some of y'all are gonna send no i'm talking about actual real questions you would want me to ask him to get his side of things let me know put them down in the comments and i'll definitely try to do that if that's something he wants to do so but I appreciate all the love and support. Roll to 150K. And I'm still young. Speed of YouTube. Wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.